क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the leaching of alumina from bauxite and now in this topic we are going to talk about the leaching of silver and gold from their ores so how can we do this process this is what i am going to talk about in this topic so friends in this topic i am going to talk about the leaching of silver and gold from their ores so starting with the first one that is leaching of that is gold so this leaching is what we understand that is it is nothing but a method to remove the impurity or to remove the insoluble impurity and that is what we are going to talk about here suppose if we have impure gold that is au so the for the impure gold that is 4 moles of au is treated with 8 moles of nacl that is sodium cyanide along with that of o2 and 2 moles of h2o so in this case the gold is basically oxidized to au plus and then it has been because it has been treated with nacn so that's the reason that it will form a complex and that is nothing but that is 4 moles of na so this is a complex which has a name that is sodium dicyanoate Along with that of the removal of that is four moles of NaOH. So in this case, basically the further part is we have to obtain the gold in a pure form, and that's the reason that is the two moles of this complex that is what we have that is sodium dicyanoate is treated with zinc, and since zinc is more electropositive, so that's the reason it will act like a reducing agent, and the complex which has an oxidation state of AU, which is having an oxidation state of plus one, it will be converted back to AU having an oxidation state of zero. So thereby zinc is acting like a reducing agent, and thereby it will basically it will reduce it will itself get oxidized, and it will help to reduce the AU plus to AU. So in this case, we will obtain that is two moles of AU along with that of the other soluble complex that is sodium tetracyanozincate. So this is how basically the leaching of AU is been done. AU in the sense gold. So now this was related to the leaching of gold, and now let me talk about leaching of silver. So friends, leaching of silver is also very much similar to that of the leaching of gold. So in this case, basically four moles of silver is treated with eight moles of Cn minus, and that could be that is sodium cyanide along with that of oxygen and two moles of H2O. So in this case, there will be a formation of a complex where we can find that is the complex is nothing but AgCn twice, and in this case, the name of this it would be known as a silver complex, and along with that of four moles of OH minus. So whenever the two moles of this complex is treated with zinc, which is more electropositive, and thereby it is acting like a reducing agent, so therefore it will help to reduce this Ag plus to Ag, which has an oxidation state of zero, thereby converting the impure silver to a pure silver. So in this case, this would be actually it will be transferred to the another process so that we can purify it in more better way. So in that case, basically we have got that is two moles of Ag, and this is basically the zinc complex which is soluble and this is how basically the two methods that is what i have discussed about that is one was for leaching of gold and one is leaching of silver so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much